Hi, I'm Tricia, an organic gardener. I grow organically for a healthy and safe food supply, for a clean and sustainable environment, for an enjoyable and rewarding experience. Greenhouses are a great asset. They're great for growing all year round, for propagating, and for tender plants. Today we're going to talk about greenhouse types so that you can make the best decision. The first step is to pick your location. The best location for a greenhouse is a southern exposure. The next best location is a southeast or east exposure, followed by a southwest and west exposure. A northern exposure is the least desirable exposure. Greenhouses that are oriented east-west get less light than those oriented north-south. Afternoon shade from deciduous trees can be really desirable. In the summer, they can shade the greenhouse over the hottest part of the day and during the winter, the leaves will fall and the greenhouse will get extra light it needs during the winter. Other considerations include providing some afternoon shade, the possibility of storm damage, good drainage, accessibility, and access to water. You also need to decide whether you're building a freestanding or a lean-to greenhouse. A freestanding greenhouse gives you more options on placement. An attached greenhouse, however, can be easier to build, it'll require fewer materials, and can be heated by radiant heat from your house, especially when built on a southern exposure. Now that you've picked your location, how big do you want to build your greenhouse? First, decide how wide of a greenhouse to build. You want to allow 19 inches for paths if it's just you walking in the greenhouse, and more like 24 inches if you'll be bringing in equipment and visitors. Benches should be as wide as you can reach across comfortably if you can access them from one side, and they should be twice that width if the bench is in the center of the greenhouse. The length of your greenhouse should be based on how many plants you want. You'll want one square foot of space for every six inch pot. A word of advice. Make sure that your greenhouse is 25 to 50 percent bigger than you think you'll need because if you're anything like me, your plant collection gets bigger, not smaller. Glass is the classic option. It's the longest lived and it can be a very sustainable option. This greenhouse is built out of upcycled single pane windows. The downside to glass is that it's heavy, it can be expensive if purchased new, and it requires the most sturdy framework. Also, it can be damaged by storms. Polycarbonate paneling or fiberglass is the next option. It's lighter, cheaper, easier to fabricate, and with higher impact resistance than glass. The downside is that it has a shorter lifespan at about 7 to 12 years instead of about 25 years life expectancy for glass. They'll also eventually yellow and have a high expansion contraction rate. Polyethylene film is the cheapest option, easiest to install, and is readily available. The downside is that it only has a four-year service life. The next concern is heating and ventilation, and a lot of that will have to do with what kind of plants you're growing inside. Check out our blog for a calculator that can help you determine your heating needs. About 25% of the heat is going to come from the sun. You'll need about 60 degrees for active growing and about 40 degrees for season extension. Typically, greenhouses are heated by oil, gas, or electricity. This can be forced air, steam, or even radiant heat from water. Some alternative heat sources are heat by compost and passive solar greenhouses. Manual temperature control is really tricky. Automatic vent openers like these that work with a wax cylinder can mean the difference between happy plants and dead ones. If you want to use your greenhouse in the summer, a fan will be necessary. In the peak heat of the summer, you're going to need to cycle the air about once per minute. You can either do it yourself or you can buy a greenhouse kit like this redwood greenhouse kit with polycarbonate sides. So, get started with the greenhouse and go organic for life.